Everybody tries to wear like kits and everything to keep you cool. And by the way, you're sweating so much that I can see you right through here. I can see you tattoo. Well, uh, actually, it's my birthday today, and I did have a few beers last night. Uh, maybe a little more than a few, but uh, uh, man's not hot either, how? Because uh, man's wearing a cool head helmet, uh, which is a aerodynamic uh, helmet, but uh, has a cooling material inside. Keeps the cyclist quite cool. Uh, I have been doing two sprints throughout these 70, 75 minutes that we've done now. And uh, uh, to keep a cyclist cool, you want to keep your uh, head temperature uh, yeah, on the interior of the helmet below 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, this helmet really will do it for you. If by any uh, chance you don't have an opportunity to stop and you really want to uh, cool off, uh, you can either pour some water in this opening right here and get the temperature down and it will stay down or you can lift up helmet just for three seconds let the airflow go in and you can see temperature should drop and it will uh, keep cool for some time uh, did it drop at all? 73 yep yeah not much for down this is just science physics uh, and this helmet really works. I cannot uh, imagine training without it. Uh, a little behind the breath because I have been pushing. And this trainer is a little different than James's. So we did put uh, all the skepticism aside. So people see that it really works. Uh, doesn't matter how, you know, how, how long we've been riding. You can see that it keeps cool. This is going live. You can get it at coolheadhelmet.com or on a Kickstarter page looking for a cooling cycling helmet and uh, yeah but now it's at 33% uh, discount at Kickstarter which is $99 and it will go retail soon for projected uh, yes. cost yes 72.0 there we go <laughs> very cool temperature 71.8 even though I'm sweating I feel very good the head is cool this is the only area that I'm not James, suffering right now. James at 93. Stop bobbing your head. There you go. 93.2. With uh, 71 and change. And we also wanted to point out that More than on my previous days. review, when I tested it against Giro helmet, Air Attack, people were very skeptical because they said, uh, in a high heat, I'll just ride a helmet with a lot of vents. So I had to point that out too, that we had to put that in there. So. Again, we don't have a bunch of hate mail coming in and tell us scammers and that this is just a, a helmet with a diaper inside. So it's really not. It's a special material. This is a patent pending uh, helmet, trademarked, and ready for a market, ready for some serious cyclists. Whether you're a pro, 93 and amateur, 71. or just a avid cyclist, or just a weekender, if you have a hard time riding in high heat like I did, this is going to be your solution. I want to say a couple words. Now, Sergey, what happens, what starts happening when you hit up above 90 degrees? Once you uh, start going above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, you are automatically in your exhaust zone. That's how you can see James is a little bit behind. <laughs> Just kidding. We're actually going <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty close. But uh, uh, once you're above 90, start getting exhausted. That's where I was. And if you ride in a high humidity zone, so like South Florida, you can get to even a stage where you're going to have heat stroke, heat cramps or he might even just uh, pass out. And that happens a lot of times, not throughout your ride, but just that moment when you get a flat, or you hit the red light, or a stop sign, or whatever reason that it is that you stop. And the moment when you stop, your airflow stops, and your uh, 
temperature starts going up. So now I'll show you that, let's say, let's turn off the fan and see that what happens when you stop and how much, let's say I just got a flat and there's no more air going through my helmet. Here, stop, stop, stop. And he, well, you got no airflow anyway, so don't well, matter. Well, we think he can stop too. So I think this is a good time to be done. But uh, how long have you guys been going? Let me see your watch, James. An hour, 15 you're, minutes. You're at, let's see if we can see it. Hour and 15 minutes. Right now you're at 93.4 degrees. You're at 73.3, about 20 degrees difference. Right, so uh, 70, uh, 70 something today is a good result, but you also gotta keep in mind that it's not the hottest day in Florida. Sure. So if we would be in the middle of the summer, because remember it's January now, if we would be in that, uh, if we would be in a, a summertime zone, our uh, readings would probably go up by 10, uh, maybe 10 for James. So he would be in a very serious danger zone. 104 degrees. He would be 104. Actually, if you do some research, you'll see that at 104 is exact danger zone that you are way out of exhaust zone. You're coming into a very, very serious situation. You can really pass out. Uh, you have to be very hydrated. As you can see, I wasn't because of the few or quite few beers yesterday. My bottle is empty and this one is almost empty. So, which, which, uh, which one, one of, that right there? Which one's that? This is a awesome guy, uh, the Nito. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's our, uh, that's our uh, awesome. supporter and friend and uh, colleague, Danito, Tony Anthony Danito. <laughs> and uh, that's how we ride. And uh, for those who live in cold states, like, maybe you, this is a silly product. You've only gone uh, up just a couple degrees. You're still right. at 74 degrees. I mean, we're, we're good to go until with, 90 with no before we even flow. get in the danger zone. Exactly. So um, for those who live in cold states, uh, maybe this product is not for you. If that's the case, please don't send us any more uh, hate mail, which we've been going uh, getting so far. Uh, maybe just skip and move on to something, you know, maybe some uh, bar mitts or whatever they have now <laughs> that are very popular and they're going to the news feeds. Um, 93 degrees. Right, so, um, but if you are in a warm climate zones, maybe Texas, California, uh, Florida, uh, Missouri, um, maybe it's a country such as Australia, uh, maybe Spain, uh, Colombia for sure, Columbia. Uh, you will find this product very useful and uh, feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions, comments, concerns. You know, we're here to help, we're here to cycle, and uh, we're here, one big cycling community, so this product initially was to cool off a person, not to uh, become a moneymaker product. So this is really a lifesaver to some, some like me, and uh, I hope that this uh, saves some lives or helps some cyclists uh, do better Where you in at? the high heat zone. All right, so just to review, James has been riding with an open air, fully ventilated <laughs> helmet, and um, Sergey has been riding. Now, look, another thing to notice is that that uh, um, James is bald. He doesn't have any uh, hair, you know, keeping the heat in or anything like that. You know, he's bald, so he should be even cooler. And uh, he's at 93 degrees, and then Sergey's got a full head of hair. He's wearing an aero helmet with full. Um, goggles on the front and he's still after stopping for a while only getting up to 95 degrees <laughs> 95 ahead, 75 degrees <laughs> <laughs> enough with the 90s yeah <laughs> uh, and uh, 74 degrees in there so the proof is in the pudding guys the thermometers don't lie <laughs>